one day my lungs started to really act up and my body started to shut down and we didn't know what was wrong. I had 32% lung function. I had a doctor who said to me, you know, Mary Kim, you're going to end up just having oxygen in your home. And at that time I was 38 or 39 and I thought there's no way, there's no way I'm doing this and my kids are not going to see me on the couch anymore. I've got to do something. And over the next 10 years, I had a journey of just trying to get healthy again. I ended up building myself and my strength, ate healthy, got strong, figured those lungs need to move. started walking a little bit. Lots of puffers, lots of times in the emergency room. And I spent a lot of years here at Lakeridge and during those years I kept thinking, I gotta be on the other side of this table. I do not want to be on this bed anymore. I ended up on the HR unit and I saw this gal coming down the hall and I said, okay, I have to ask you something. I'm in my 40s. I'm gonna be graduating late 40s, early 50s. Would you ever consider me as a potential nurse at this hospital? And she said, absolutely, look me up when you graduate. So in my late 40s, when I graduated, I just thought, I'm gonna make it happen. And I looked that gal up here at Lake Ridge, and I got a job. They said I had a fresh mind, and I thought, how do we have a fresh mind? Like, I'm this old gal coming in. But it's bringing in the old experience into the new experience. And to be able to walk into that room the first time and take care of a patient and check their blood pressure or check their IV, was amazing. After I thought of all those people that helped me in Port Perry, in Whitby, and in Oshawa, I learned how to be a great nurse through those nurses. They made a difference for me, and I knew I had to come back here. This was the place for me.